down in us, we find what makes us function, what makes us human, our proteins, and now, we see them like we've never seen them before. Here we are inside the brain. What look like long green threads are the neurons, which the brain needs to communicate, to think, and to store memories. But this is not a healthy brain. The red blobs are amyloid plaques, a protein that has run amok, slowly killing the neurons. This is Alzheimer's disease. The Human Protein Atlas Project is mapping out all of the different proteins in the human body. Thanks to this, researchers specializing in a disease like Alzheimer's can now go to the HPA's open access webpage and study the proteins involved. Here, anyone can see how the amyloid beta precursor protein is expressed in the brain, and especially in the hippocampus, a part of the brain important to learning and memory. One can also look at the protein expressed by the gene MAPT, a protein called tau, which also contributes to Alzheimer's. And here we see how it is expressed in all regions of the brain. The Human Protein Atlas project is important for my research because I get access to information on many proteins in the brain. And now, this research has been taken even one step further. The researchers within the HPA are now mapping out the proteins in 3D. With the help of a new microscope, they can create micro-universes of protein structures. So that now, for the first time, scientists like Thomas Heckfeld can voyage through their proteins of interest. We are now looking at a special part of the brain, the locus ceruleus, which is a compact group of cells that have processes and give rise to long axons. This is the part where the Alzheimer's disease starts. Now we have moved into a sick Alzheimer's brain. And the difference you see right away because there are many red dots. And these red dots are marking a protein tau that is characteristic for Alzheimer's disease. On the other hand, you can also see that there are healthy cells without red dots in the surrounding. And that's why the brain still works. And thanks to the three-dimensional view, we are able to turn the brain in different directions we can see which parts of the locus ceruleus are healthy and which are sick. And that is important for our understanding of the disease. But as the disease progresses, another protein gets involved. Amyloid plaque here in green. And these two, tau and amyloid plaque, together break down the neuron cells. Tau within the cell and the amyloid plaque on the outside. And with this 3D picture, we can see the devastating process up close. How the amyloid plaque in high number occupy a large space. This makes it hard for the neurons in green to communicate and is the reason why our memory, attention, thinking and language slowly fade. This is just one example of the power of this method. And we hope in the future to be able to visualize other molecules, other proteins, and how they are expressed in relation to these structures. And this may give us some hints of development of the disease and perhaps generate new medicines for treatment of Alzheimer's. When we explore the world in new ways, we discover new things about us, about life itself. And now we see our proteins like we've never seen them before.